Yes, so we have a new tool here to replace this one here. We already brand channel lock and he will be replacing the old Stanley. Yeah, the old Stanley. Alright. So it came like in a case like this. So that is that. Now, what I have seen here is that the force that is put upon whatever you are looking the tight, no slack, no grip on, the foot pongs in this area here is so incredible when you lock the handle. So when you're squeezing the handle, I can't even put my finger here with just gentle movements like this. I don't have to put too much pongs to hold anything. While this one here, I could actually put my finger between here and squeeze it, and it didn't do nothing. It didn't do nothing. But put it between this. Uh -uh. So there is something new. These um, these are adjusted as you carry it. It has the channel, and then go down. You know, and that's how it adjusts. This one here now have a little button. So you press the button, and I release it, and it goes down, and then it locks in another channel. So it gets it bigger. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get another one like this, a bigger one. That will help out a lot. So this one will go in the case. Let him relax himself in the in the other toolkit. Well, this will be the new one moving around. Just need to get the bigger one and I'm good to go. But what this one used to do, this one will also do too. So this is the channel lock. Original brand channel lock. Maybe give you a little history of how I learned all about this type of pliers. Some people call it adjustable pliers, some people call it I think pump wrench. And they have all different type of um, names for this pair of pliers here. Yeah. But when I knew about it, they so call this channel lock also. I didn't know that it had a brand actually called Channel Lock, which is this brand here. And only later down in the years, I learned that it actually have a brand Channel Lock, similar to like um, Osterizer, and it's actually a blender. Yeah, so it was so strange and like Pampers. So I think I think that is one also. And it's really a diaper, something like that. So this is what we have here. New tools on the market again. Have a next one, you know. My last um pipe cutter fell down in a barrel of um chemicals and I end up taking buying this one one time. See, a rapture. Cuts real nice. Real nice, real nice. I'm not sorry at all that I purchased it. Yeah, it cut real, 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 real nice. I have no regrets on it at all, at all. So, I have this here. This is a new one, new tool. And this one here, new tool. They both of them replace the old ones. Well, I still have this one. The other one's still in the barrel of chemical. So, that's it. Tools.